Welcome back, Page Turners. This is Mike with Longbox Weekly Comic Book Review, and I am sitting here with Michigan-based artist Ryan Stegman. How you been doing this weekend, Ryan? Very good. Very. It's been a very busy show. Uh, the shows seem to be getting bigger every year, so it's been great. That's nice. That's nice. You've been having pretty good sales, a lot of, a lot of good feedback on your work? Yeah, yeah. Enough, uh, enough that it's been overwhelming, uh, and nice. that I'm very, very tired. So. Well, uh, you've definitely earned the nap this weekend, so... Um, Currently, you're working on the Wolverine title, but many of you viewers may know him from his work on Superior Spider-Man. Um, you did, I believe you did four issues, and then you took a break, and then brought you on on four issues again. For Superior? Yeah. I think I did three, then three, then two. Okay, and your last issue was, I believe, like... Three, two, three. So uh, what was your last total. Uh, 19. 19. Okay, and then after you did the 19, that's when you started working on the, the, the Wolverine book, right? Right. And right now, are you still doing the interior pages on that, or are you no, still No, I'm doing Inhuman now. Okay, you're actually on Inhuman. Yeah, I'm about done with my first issue of Inhuman. Okay, so that's definitely something you guys are going to want to pick up. Um, when can we actually see some original concepts from the mind of Ryan Stegman? Uh, well, you know, hopefully soon. Um, I have plenty of things that are I'm working on with other writers and uh, trying to get something going. Um, it just, the timing has to work out, so, uh, you know, hopefully it works out soon. Awesome. Uh, kind of recently you had a, a meeting, where, or you actually had met Todd McFarlane. How, how was that, being being an artist, working on Spider-Man, how was actually having a sit-down with Todd McFarlane? Um, it was surreal. Um, you know, he's absolutely the very reason that I do this stuff, and... Uh, you know, we he talked to me for a little while, and you know he was he was engaged in the conversation. You know, he he seemed to want to talk to me. You know, it was, it was really cool. It was uh, it was a dream come true, really. Did that seem to uh, kind of like when when you were a child? I'm sure you read a lot of McFarlane books, and that as you said, inspired you to, to get into it. Did did actually meeting with him and him acknowledging your work? Did that kind of re reignite that flame that you had as a child? Um, yeah, I mean, it was just. Do you now feel like you gotta, you gotta, he's paying attention, now you gotta do something? <laughs> no, I mean, it was cool because he knew that I'd done Spider-Man, and he knew that, uh, you know, he, he kind of seemed to know who I was and stuff, and I don't know, like, just all that together, just, I mean, it's super exciting, and, and anytime you meet one of your heroes, and they treat you like, kind of like an equal or something, it's very, you know, it's mind-blowing. So. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, so right now you're working on Inhumans. Um, how was coming from Superior Spider-Man into Wolverine and then coming into the Inhumans? Was it a, a decent transition for you? Or yeah, I mean, um, I got really, I was really by the end of Spider-Man, I was super comfortable drawing Spider-Man, and then I was, you know, I had to go through the transition again into Wolverine, and by issue three, I was really into it, and then I did issue four, and. Um, I had finally hit my groove, and then I left and started something anew, and now I'm finding my footing again. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's a good thing, because I, these are projects I want to do. You know? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, out, of, out of the three books so far, the, the Spider-Man, the Wolverine, and the Inhumans, where, where do you feel like uh, kind of spoke to your, your art style the most? Well, I mean, there's no question that I was, I was born to draw Spider-Man. <laughs> like, I... Obviously, like, I, I was so obsessed with it as a kid. I drew Spider-Man all the time on my own time. And you did an uh, awesome job, i got to say. that out of, out of the whole Superior Spider-Man run, I, 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 I like the other issues, but it, it seemed like your issues, the panels were just full. There was a lot of action. You know, it yeah. wasn't... It wasn't... Uh, Hurry up and tell the story. It was right. like each panel had enough story in it to where you could, you could spend the time on it. So. Yeah, no, it, and, and having... Having drawn in my whole life, it's just it's an easy one for me to jump into. But at the same time, Wolverine also speaks to my sensibilities because I like to do you know cartoonier things. I think you can get a little cartoonier with him. And then Inhuman, the same. I mean, I, I'm, we're creating the characters, so yeah. I get to make them look however I want. So you're gonna and, get. And speaking of Inhumans, the book is phenomenal so far. The story, it's it's compelling. It pulls you in. The characters, as you say, you're. You're giving these readers something new that they're not, you know, it's not the typical, oh, I, I grew up with that. It's something right. that can be their their own Superman, their own Batman. Absolutely, that's that's the hope, is that we create the, you know, we create the new Wolverine, or the, 
the new Spider-Man or something that lasts a long time and appears in a lot of books. So you said that you were pretty much born to draw Spider-Man. Now that that's been done and you've accomplished that, is there any other character that you feel like you would really like to get your hands on? Um, out of, at Marvel, um, I, I would like to... I had like a checklist of things that I'd like to do. You know, I, I, like, I like Hulk. I like Spider-Man. I like Wolverine. And I've done all those things. Uh, and I like... I want to do create characters because even though you know you're creating characters and giving them to a company it still can you know years later it still feels like you were part of something well yeah it's like McFarlane and, and Venom, Venom and, that's and Liefeld and Deadpool and exactly. stuff like that uh, and then the other character that I really would like to take a crack at someday on is uh, Thor and so once I've touched all those bases I'll feel pretty Satisfied. You feel satisfied, and, and then we we can actually see some original concepts coming from you then? Yep. Well, I mean, I'm under contract, <laughs> so I, as much as I'd like to do it, you know, all the time, I just, I, I'm under contract, so um, there will be a time where, you know, contracts don't factor in, and I'll be able to do it then. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to that, um, but as I said, uh, right now you're doing the, the Inhumans. How many issues are you on board for that? Um... Uh, preferably, I prefer to do it for a long time. And we, so this you know, is where you're, you're feeling comfortable. Yeah, creating characters is just an awesome opportunity, and they want to turn this into a big property and something that uh, has lo- has longevity. And uh, I'm on board with that. And I want to, if we're going to going to aim, if the aim is to do that, I want to be part of it as lo- you know, as much part of the, that building process Definitely. as possible. All right, well, uh, to wrap this up, um, is there any uh, websites, anything like that that you'd like to promote right now? Uh, just ryanstegman.com, twitter.com slash ryanstegman. All right, definitely. So that's that's it with Ryan Stegman, guys. Thank you very much for your time and opportunity. Uh, definitely check out the man's work. If you're in the area of Lapeer, come into the shop. we got a lot of his work there. If you're not in the area, definitely go on the social networks, ryanstegman.com. Uh, you have an art book I'm not seeing on the table. Um, but I do recommend the art book. How to draw? That's what I draw right? comics. I draw comics? I draw comics. Okay. There you go. That's definitely something you guys are going to want to check out. And again, thank you very much for taking the opportunity with us. Thanks, right? man. Thanks. Love it or hate it, advice, baby. Maybe leave it on the shelf. Love it or hate it, advice, baby. Maybe leave it on the shelf. Bye, baby.